Good afternoon, and this is an afternoon show, unlike the other ones, usually in the morning. However, this is What's Up, Doc. I'm your host, Doc Durden, and we are filming right here at Virginia, Nevada Studios. And this here is the Durden Building in Virginia City, Nevada. How cool. Uh, one of the best places that I want to live. And, uh, and of course, we know that uh, by now that this show here is about the movers and shakers and the entertainment uh, that we have in Virginia City. And let me tell you, it's top shelf. And that's the reason why we are doing this show, uh, to expose uh, some of these people and, uh, and their, their, their characters, and, uh, and I love them all. And uh, today we have a group. This is our first group. And, and, uh, and these boys are very significant, uh, no matter where they go. Not just uh, Virginia City, they get hired out to do uh, uh, shows uh, just about anywhere and everywhere. Uh, I remember that uh, uh, that we got hired to do a show in uh, uh, what the heck was it? Uh, uh, it was uh, in Idaho, uh, Glen Idaho Falls. Falls the museum. What was it? Yeah, Idaho Falls. Idaho museum. Falls. I'm telling you, rock star treatment. We had a limousine. We had suites. We had, and uh, and and it just gives you an idea that uh, uh, there there's a lot of value right here, and you're going to see it, and you're going to be talking to them. Uh, so uh, without further ado, I, I I do have to introduce you to uh, uh, my friends, and 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 I, I'm telling you, they're all my friends, and we're going to start right here with with uh, uh, Doc Holiday. Uh, uh, now, uh, did you want with the AKA, or, or do you want to go with the uh, uh, with your names also? <laughs> Excuse me, Doc. That's all right. This That's a rumor, by the way. Yeah. All right. Now, I, see, I go a AKA. I like AKAs. It's up to you guys. That's how you guys are known. And uh, oh, uh, I prefer that myself. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and I, I know when I did uh, uh, Evil Twin, all the credits were uh, the AKA, uh, only because. Uh, uh, that's how you guys are known, uh, known for and by. We're going to go with the AKA, and and there's no better Doc Holiday, uh, as far as I'm concerned, in this um, uh, in, in this world. And and uh, it uh, he's that gentleman sitting right here. He's been my friend for 13 years. I'm happy to say. Uh, uh, welcome aboard. I, I'm glad to have you here. Thank happy you, to have you Thank here you. Thank once you. again. And uh, uh, the next fellow that's sitting next to him. Bat Masterson, good-looking guy here. I'm telling you, uh, I, I, we've been friends for uh, not only we've been friends for a while. He's also a sponsor for uh, Virginia Nevada Studios. Uh, he supplied us with all the glass, and that's a very cool thing to do. So, uh, being one of the sponsors and and uh, and uh, certainly one of part of the entertainment around town. And again, uh, uh, I've, I've I've never met a better performer uh, for Bat Masterson than Bat Masterson himself. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate Thank that. You, and uh, then we have Virgil. Now we've been friends, we go back a long time also. Uh, I've been up here for 13 years and I've known Virgil for just about that whole time. Uh, he uh, also, uh, I know he used to live here in Virginia City. I, I, do you still live here in Virginia City? I, I know you're talking about Gardnerville. Yeah, yeah. Gardnerville right now, and uh, another beautiful town. Uh, but uh, he, no, he, he, he lived uh, in Virginia City here for quite a while, him and his lovely wife. And uh, I'm not going to reach over, but uh, welcome to What's Up Doc. What's up? It's wonderful to have you here, believe it's me. Believe me. Yes, thank you, yeah. And uh, then we have uh, Saber River. Uh, he, he protects these guys. He's the only cowboy in the bunch right here. But uh, he is a cowboy, there's no doubt about it, and he, uh, he protects these boys right here. Not that they need protecting, but uh, uh, you, you take a look at him, he's a pretty rough guy. I am rough. Yes. He's a scalawag, the first degree. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Scallywag in the first degree, and that's uh, uh, Saber Rivers right here. So uh, uh, welcome uh, to the show. Thank you very Glad much. Glad to have you here. Absolutely. What a beautiful look you have. Uh, I shouldn't say beautiful. Maybe handsome look you, you have. Anyway, y'all have a great look. It's just, that, you know, uh, it's just second to none. And uh, talking about that, uh, me and Doc here, we go back uh, about 13 years, and uh, I met him in Stockton, uh, California area at the Chicken Kitchen. And that was uh, that was uh, quite an area. They had uh, um, they had a whole whole wild west town there. It was it was interesting, and we had an event there. I didn't know him at the time, and he didn't know me. And um, 
and at the time, uh, uh, my uh, my lovely wife uh, 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 was talking to uh, this gentleman. She couldn't wait to come see me. So you got to meet this guy. Okay, and so I went. <laughs> that's what we did. And so he stayed in character. And, and uh, let me tell you, right then and there, uh, I, I knew uh, I had to uh, get him somehow on my team. Uh, and uh, but he needed some help to do a, a skit in uh, Friends of Bodie, Bodie, California. And that was uh, 13 years ago. The reason why I'm telling you this is because then after the, after what we did there in Bodie, he invited me to Virginia City, and that's how I become a uh, resident in Virginia City. However, during that event, during that event uh, uh, in uh, Stockton, California, uh, we met, we talked, uh, we kind of had a mutual respect for one another immediately, and uh, he told me the show that he was going to do, and and uh, that uh, he needed a little bit of a help on that as far as bodies, and I. I I can do that. I can supply you the body. So that's what we did. We had a reenactment at the 8,500 foot level, and that was Hawaii Mine. And I can never remember yeah, the second the main line. Street, down the main street there in Bodie. We also had uh, we had we had reenactment on Main Street too, but uh, at, at where we had the shootout, we had about 200 rounds that were fired, and, and that was. Uh, uh, we had a narrator, so we narrated everything that was going to happen, and then uh, we executed, and it turned out absolutely uh, the best. And then after that performance there, uh, we went down and uh, they did, and when I say they, I wasn't part of that because I was doing a show in the church. I was doing hell, fire, and brimstone in the church. Uh, but they were raising hell on, uh, on uh, downtown Bodie. And, uh, and, and of course, they had the best time, and, and they got to know the people that were there. Huge amount of, well, uh, the, the, the crowd was, was top shelf because it was a Friends of Bodie day. Uh, so they, uh, they did uh, an exceptional job, as they always do. And, uh, and, uh, and I was in the uh, church doing Hellfire and Brent, so setting people up to go to the cemetery. Uh, so that was, that was very cool for me, too. And uh, then you, Mr., Invited me to go to uh, do uh, uh, come up to Virginia City the very next uh, week, which I did, and, uh, and I stepped I stepped foot on C Street, which is Main Street, and there was a whole feeling that just comes over you, and I can't explain it. Sorry, and uh, so uh, I never left. I've been to historical towns uh, uh, throughout the country, loved them all, but uh, Virginia City seemed to be the uh, only spot for me, and. Uh, so anyway, I was able to draft him on my uh, Western Theater team, and uh, we did remarkable things, and, and uh, thank you for that. Uh, I, I, there's, there's so much more that, w that we'll get into, and we will, but uh, what I'd like to do is just go and, and uh, get to Bat. Uh, uh, Bat's been on, uh, in Virginia City, and of course, uh, they have uh, teamed up. Uh, now that we're 13 years in the future, uh, uh, now uh, uh, Doc is, is teamed up with Bat, and Bat's teamed up with Virgil, and then we have also Wyatt, which uh, couldn't make it today, and now we have uh, uh, Eric here, uh, excuse me, we have uh, uh, Saber, Saber River uh, here also that, uh, that's uh, been picked up along the way too, which complements the team uh, in a little different way. Uh, but, but, but Bat, I I'm telling you, you have this you have this, what do you have? You have this character, you have this, you have this, this aura about, about you when you walk around town. Uh, it's just, uh, you are Bat Masterson, you know it. Uh, you're his agent, and you know that you need to, uh, you need to be Bat, and you are. And, and, and uh, how wonderful is that? Uh, we get to experience that, and, and you play that character wonderfully well. And uh, so, how did you get into uh, being Bat Masterson. Yeah. Okay, well, four years ago, uh, it was the St. Patty's Parade up here in BC, and uh, I was walking up towards the Fourth Ward School to take my place in the parade, and I saw Wyatt and Doc standing there already, and wasn't quite sure who they were. Uh, as I got closer, it was obvious they were, they meant business, but their clothing and everything. I just had some generic stuff on, you know. I didn't know what I was going to do yet. Right. Um, and so I, we just sort of just gravitated, and uh, introductions and everything, and uh, we just sort of hit it off. And uh, these guys saw in me something I didn't even know yet. You know, 
Uh, so that's good. You weren't even dressed. You yeah. were in generic clothes. Uh, yeah. And 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 he's seeing something that this could be. Yeah. This could work out. Okay. I, I had a different hat, you know, a vest and boots and stuff, you know, and a gun. Um, but it was. Uh, I had no historic, you know, uh, value to it. Um, so as we became friends uh, over the weeks to come. Mm -hmm. um, these guys decided that I should be somebody historic, you know, take a historic. And so we were going through all these guys, you know, uh, well, why don't you be uh, Sheriff Behan? And I said, uh -huh. Uh -huh. no, no, he's a, he's a blankety blank. I don't yeah, want to yeah, be yeah. him. Uh -huh. And you know, on naming off all these people, no, he died. No, he was shot. You yeah, know, yeah, and, uh, yeah. No, he was an outlaw. So I wanted to be somebody a little more upstanding. And I don't know how, I don't know who came up with it, but that Masterson came out. Came out and okay. We were trying to tie it all into the peace commission which we were putting together with the three herbs. Yes. A holiday and uh Pat Masterson showed up. It was a perfect connection because of his real life experiences with the herbs back in the eighteen hundreds. Yeah. He and fell right into that. As I read up you know, okay, Bat, I'll, I'll get some books, you know, and I come to find out that uh, as a teenager he uh, that's where he met a white herb out in the frontiers, buffalo hunters. Ah. Yeah, they were becoming men. They left the uh, family farms yeah. and went out there yeah. to see what they could see. Sure. And um, and through that association, uh, Wyatt and myself became lifelong friends. And uh, when the buffalo uh, thing just sort of died down a little bit, uh, we came back to Dodge City where my where Bat's older brother, Ed Masterson, was the sheriff, and he hired us both to be city police. I got you. And that began the careers of the law officers, and whatever happened after that is history. And uh, but both men liked to gamble in between yep. having a sure. regular job. They yep. followed the circuit, you know, where okay. they heard a good game was going to go on. They travel to that town and sit down and, and usually take the, the four minors for everything because they were very good at it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, anyway, I uh, we got in, uh, I decided, okay, Bat Masterson. So, I started researching the clothes, looking at pictures, and, and many thousands of dollars later. Yes. <laughs> yes. Boy, you know, and it still goes on. Yeah. You know, I'm always yeah, looking. Oh, I'd love to have that vest. You know, oh, look at that gun. Um, so, uh, I, but I wanted to get it over quick. I didn't want it to take years to be yeah. done. So yeah. I just went heavily in debt and became bad master. Yeah. did. Excellent choice, excellent choice, uh, but I need to go back to Doc here because I am curious of uh, how did uh, how did Doc Holiday become <laughs> Doc Holiday? That is so funny. You should ask me. Uh, I was doing Confederate reenactment when I was married back in Atlanta, and I had done that for eight nine years, and I learned everything about the Southern way of life in the eighteen sixties. Was Confederate cannoneer at the time. Did all the major battlefields from Gettysburg all the way over to Mississippi. Cut my teeth quite well and learned it all. Right down with accent, if you will. And so, uh, got divorced and went west, like all Confederates would have done at the end of the war. And I first started uh, putting some cowboy stuff together when I was living in Arizona. Well, got a job transfer, went up to the Reno area. Now I stumbled into Virginia City of all places about two weeks after getting up to Reno, I said, well, I think I like this. Dude. Yeah. All right. And I befriended some cowboy looking characters. They had uh, David John, the Comstock Cowboys, were playing there. And I just had myself a river on good time. And I befriended myself with uh, some other cowboys who were sitting at tables. And I said, I want to be water. <laughs> well, there are a dime a dozen, as we all know, right, Bert? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I want to be another one. Okay, so no, I ran no, right no, out no, and I bought all the clothes. Lying. Bought all the clothes, all the water clothes, just a sort of fast track like uh, Bat was trying to do. And I show up in Virginia City with all my water clothes on, and everybody's coming up to me going, Hi, Doc. Hi, Doc. No, I'm not Doc. I'm yeah, uh, uh, Wyatt. Yeah. yeah, I'm Wyatt. Well, they all thought I was uh, uh, Doc Holiday, and I'm trying to dress like Wyatt, and I was so upset, ran right out and bought a whole new other <laughs> wardrobe. As Doc Holliday, <laughs> and when you saw me, that was the very first time was in it? that competition that I was, you know, remember the competition yes. there, the character yeah. competition, and I entered that thing all, all full of whiskey and stamina and testosterone. I didn't I, know that. I bullied my way through that yeah. one, 
Anyway, uh, that was my first time with Doc Holliday. Yeah. And I haven't looked back since. Didn't know that. Now, that's a little piece of information. Now, that's very cool. That was the first event for you as being Doc Holliday. Mm -hmm. And I happened to be there to witness that. And you were so good at it. I said, my God, this is the best Doc Holliday I've ever seen. I got to do something about this. So, yeah. That, interesting. Good for you. Good for you. I've just been honing it ever since. <laughs> yes. And, and, and again, uh, nobody does it better. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I... There, there are a lot of people out there that do Doc Holiday, and God bless them, you do an excellent job. But for me, my whiskey, right here, right here. As you can see, uh, he coughs this like uh, Doc, uh, he's just miserable, you know. <laughs> That's the whiskey. I'm trying to pickle myself, you <laughs> mind? What, what's, so what, what's very interesting, uh, if, if uh, and hopefully someday that you're going to happen to see Evil Twin, he happened to be, uh, well, he opened Evil Twin and closed Evil Twin, uh, the movie. Uh, that was the first movie that I made. And uh, during the big scene, which was in the uh, courtroom, and we had, uh, oh, man, we had a big gunfire in, his, in, in, in the uh, courtroom, and he's firing away and everything. And what's he have in his hand? This is what he has in his hand as he's fired and he's shooting all the deputies and everything. And of course, after all the gunfire is done, smoke is everywhere. What's he do? Exactly what he's just doing right now. That's exact. I could have died. Just as funny. I, 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 that, now that's Doc Holiday. Just as cool as can be. I, I just seen that cup. I had to bring that up. Appreciate it. Sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just as. Now we have Virgil. Yes. Virgil, now again, as I was saying, that uh, me and Virgil, we, we go back a long time, uh, Virginia City, uh, and at one time a uh, Virginia City resident. And uh, so tell me, uh, how did you become uh, Virgil Er, Very historical character, and you chose Virgil. Well, I guess it started about two, three years ago when I ran into Wyatt, my brother. Morgan, and Matt, and Doc there, and they saw me, and they said, you know what, you'd make a good herb. I said, well, I'm not really a herb, but I said, yeah, you would, you'd make a good virgin herb. Good, good. They were looking for a virgin. So I said, all right, I'll do that, and uh, I enjoyed doing that, because I was up here, I didn't have any character then, I was just me, you know, mm -hmm. being here, and um, I was really into the more with the cavalry. I was also yes. kind of stuck with that. I remember that. And yes, we did a lot yes. of that. Yes. and uh, I ended up saying, you know what? I like this Virgil. I think I'm going to Started reading up on it, and I said, saw the movie, and enjoy that, and then started copying the clothes and spent thousands of dollars. And <laughs> Guns, <laughs> the whole thing, you know. I mean, you just have to get into it. I mean, it's just, yeah. and I've been enjoying it ever since. I still do the cavalry on the Fourth of July sometimes, and lick them. Eleventh of November, I always do it. I always dress up as a soldier. Right, right. Exactly. He even uh, he dresses as a soldier in the morning for the parade, and then he changes back yeah. into Virgil. Well, and that's when he gets real expensive, but now he has two characters. Yes. Uh, now, now, when we talk about a lot of money going out and spending and everything, just to give our audience uh, perspective right here of uh, exactly the cost involved, uh, what I am wearing today is $2,000, okay? And I know that everybody here is hovering around $2,000 for their costumes. Yeah, yeah, and more. I, I, again, uh, I have thirty thousand dollars to invest in costumes. Doc has a great deal of money. I don't know if you have a dollar figure. Got an original eighteen seventy seven Colt Lightning right here. And that there caliber double action. Yeah, yeah and that cheap. there is way beyond. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Your 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 two grand that I'm talking about. But just an ordinary costume, just your coat, hat, uh, a, a a just say a Ruger gun a holster. Uh, spurs, boots, whatever, uh, you're into two grand. Uh, and that's just, uh, you know, 
and that yeah and that's it that's it and basic outfit and that's a basic outfit so uh so when these fellas when 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 you see them uh, in virginia city or wherever and they're walking around and everything they do this because they have a big heart they have a huge heart they do this because they love history they love the, uh, their, their character and and uh and, and there's a lot of money that's spent that way and, and that just gives you an idea uh, it, it goes it, it just goes I guess, like the, everybody is saying, that's a beginner uh, outfit, and then it just goes on from there. Absolutely, you're absolutely right. And now, uh, back to Verge. We interrupted Verge. It's all right. <laughs> Knowing you long enough, you yeah, can yeah. do that. I understand that, yes. You've got guns. Yeah, it's got guns. Yeah. got guns. <laughs> so does he. Yeah. <laughs> So Verge, actually, now, just to get, uh, he has two costumes now. Not only is he doing uh, a Civil War, uh, he's also he's also doing uh, Virgil Earp. So now he has quite an expense. Uh, it's one it's one thing being one character, but now he started out with the Civil War. Now go.